You might not know this, but there are literally thousands of phobias out there, and not all of them are what you might expect to see. Everybody is afraid of something, and although you might not want to admit it, sometimes your phobias extend beyond the traditional spider or clown phobias. From certain furniture to farm animals, here are some of the strangest phobias out there. Stay tuned to number one to find out exactly what people are afraid to leave home without. Number 10. Furniture Phobia Believe it or not, and as you might have guessed, furniture phobia is a fear of furniture. Although it may sound strange, it is a genuine, recognized phobia that can vary from the fear of a specific type of furniture right up to the fear of any and all furniture. Symptoms can include shortness of breath, refusing to touch, and wanting to avoid even looking at furniture at all costs. One slightly documented version of this phobia comes from an actor, Billy Bob Thornton, who has admitted in a television interview that he is deathly afraid of furniture, specifically antique furniture, and if he is in the same room as it, he becomes highly uncomfortable, wants to leave as quickly as possible. As with most phobias, nobody knows for sure what causes it, but some speculate that it comes from a traumatic childhood event of some form. Number 9. Catoptrophia Not everybody is a fan of their body. Some might think they are too fat or too thin or just too oddly proportioned. If this problem causes you to avoid looking at mirrors, then you just might have catoptrophobia. Also known as isoptrophobia or spectrophobia, this is the fear of mirrors. Whether it is because you're afraid of something coming out of the mirror and attacking you, or more of a body image issue, it is a real phobia that people suffer from. Now, it's not usually the fact that you can't handle seeing a mirror, but rather the fear of what you might see in the mirror looking back at you. Symptoms of this are the same as most other phobias, shortage of breath, and the desire to avoid mirrors at all costs. Baywatch superstar and professional slow motion runner Pamela Anderson has admitted before to having this phobia, stating that she avoids all mirrors and most other reflective surfaces. Number 8. Ovophobia Breakfast time is not usually something associated with phobias, but if you are one of the people living with ovophobia, then any Sunday morning breakfast or brunch date might be an actual nightmare to you. Ovophobia is the fear of eggs, whether it be the complete egg still in its shell or otherwise. Ovophobia sufferers are living in a constant fear of being near an egg. It is often paired up with xanthophobia, which is the fear of yellow, and can leave people stuttering with the usual shortness of breath and even sweating. As usual, exact causes for the fear are unclear, but can involve the thought of a newborn baby chick breaking its way out in your kitchen, or even simply an egg allergy. Fame producer and director Alfred Hitchcock admitted to having this phobia, stating that watching an egg yolk breaking and running all over his plate is one of the most revolting things he could ever witness. What do you think about egg yolks? Let us know in the comments below. Number 7. Electorophobia While we're on the topic of eggs, farms are often considered to be rather dirty, wild animals running around, and who knows what might be laying in wait in the bushes. Electorophobia is not the fear of the farm itself, but rather a fear of a specific farm animal, chickens. More specifically, it is the fear of roosters, with electoro meaning rooster in Greek, but it doesn't end there and some sufferers include hens and even baby chicks. This strange fear could originate from having a traumatic encounter with a chicken as a child, and that encounter may have had a lasting effect on the person's view of chickens for the rest of their lives. No known celebrities share this fear, but if you have it or know a friend who might have it, let us know. Number 6. Papyrophobia these days are becoming more and more digital, leaving paper in the past as we move steadily towards a paperless future. 
Papyrophobes are particularly happy with this as it helps them to avoid their crushing fear of paper. That's right, the fear of paper is a real thing, and sufferers of this phobia have said that they simply cannot handle touching or handling paper in any way. This fear comes in a few different forms and varies between the actual feel and texture of paper that people can't handle to the sound that it makes when turning a page or crumbling paper up. Generally, this fear is controlled through sufferers laminating the paper or even keeping a glass of water nearby so that they can wet their fingers before turning the pages in order to avoid listening to a dry page slipping off of their fingers. Hollywood star Megan Fox has admitted to having this phobia, saying if she has to handle paper, she would much prefer that it be laminated. Number 5. Nomophobia This phobia that is shared by millions of young people across the world, and although it is not as public as their traditional phobias of clowns or spiders, it is just as common, if not even more so. Nomophobia is the fear of not having your mobile phone. The word nomo literally comes from combining the words no and mobile to create nomophobia. And it is the worst nightmare of anybody who relies solely on their smartphones. Whether it be when you're traveling out of town and worry about having a breakdown in your car, or even just being at a family event and having a dead battery, no data, or poor signal to keep up to date on the world. I am certain that everyone has, at some point, had a moment of nomophobia. If this describes you, why don't you leave us a comment with the hashtag nomophobia so we can, you know, further understand this problem. Number 4. Trypophobia As far as irrational phobias go, this one is quite high on the list, but it's also surprisingly common, affecting an estimated 16% of the world's population. Trypophobia is the fear of holes or bumps, specifically a tiny cluster of holes arranged in a pattern of some kind, such as a honeycomb or the head of a lotus flower. People suffering from this phobia exhibit the same sort of symptoms as any other, more common phobia, but take it up a notch to even include the possibility of dying. Although not much is understood about what could cause this fear, I mean honestly, there's no explanation of what could cause it. People still continue to be affected by it, and there are even some quick tests online that you can take to see if you are among those affected by it. Number 3. Paganophobia In today's world, sufferers of this phobia must have a hard time being around people at all. With so many men feeling the need to display their manliness by growing beards, it must be just unbearable. And as you may have guessed it, Pogonophobia is not the fear of hipsters, but rather the fear of beards. Although it may sound ridiculous to most people, it is actually a recognized phobia and there is even mention of it as far back as the 1850s. It is speculated that this fear could come from a childhood abuse or traumatic childhood memory carried out by a bearded man. Should you suffer from this phobia, the traditional methods of treatment are to expose yourself to more bearded people. I guess as a way to power past the fear, or in extreme cases one can get psychological help to assist with their recovery. Number 2. Hippopotomonstrosis Quipideliophobia Say that one 10 times fast. This is the phobia of long words, which sounds absolutely ridiculous until you stop and think about it for a moment. Hippopotamonstrosis quipedilophobia is not just the fear of long words, but more specifically, the fear of saying long words in front of a crowd of people. The people from this particular phobia are afraid of mispronouncing the words and being corrected or being laughed at at their pronunciation of the word, which could have a tragic effect on their self-confidence or ability to continue their speech or conversation without the fear of being judged by onlookers. The only course of treatment in this phobia is to practice any long or difficult words beforehand to ensure that you get the message across without any laughter. For the record, it is not recommended to become a YouTuber if you have this fear. Don't believe me? Just read some comments in our other videos. Number 1. Kumpaunophobia It is not often that a phobia shapes the world as we know it today, but this difficult to pronounce long word is the fear of buttons and, surprisingly, 
it affects around 75,000 people in the world. Those suffering from this phobia are not only repulsed by the look of buttons, but they also can't handle the thought of having buttons from their shirts touch their skin. The best documented case of this phobia is none other than that of Steve Jobs himself. And his case was so extreme that it didn't stop at buttons on clothing, but extended to the buttons on mobile phones as well, nudging him towards the creation of the iPod and iPhones, and the concept of using touchscreens instead of having to touch buttons at all. This phobia is also the reason he wore his famed turtlenecks, admitting that he could never feel comfortable in a dress shirt knowing that the buttons are touching his skin. And there you have it. There are some of the strangest phobias in the world. Let us know in the comments which of them you were surprised by, or if you have any of them yourself. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Take care.